Because God called you to be his holy minister. And so live 100%. You know what holiness is? Purity. You know what purity is? 100%. Whatever you do, do it 100%. Remember when Peter saw the miracle of God? Actually, it's one of the scriptures I got for the year about go out again, go out again in your boat and you will reap, you will, and they, the, the fish come in that. Well, well, he sees it and he says, and he tells Jesus, leave me. Cause I'm, why? Because I'm a sinful man. And Peter fell big and he wept. And remember when the Lord says, do you love me, Peter? Do you love me, Peter? Three times and it hurt Peter, but Messiah was dealing with it. He was covering it up. He, when I say covering up, he was dealing with that shame. So, hey, listen, I saw it, I know it, but now you're going to redeem that, Peter. The rest of your life, you're going to live redeeming that. You're going to show the world how much you love me. God is saying, you know, sometimes you, you felt you're, uh, um, you're disqualified because of something in your life from your call, from the high things of God. And God is saying, no, I am not finished with you. Amen. I have not disqualified you. In fact, I've made provision for that. I've made provision for that weakness, for the shame, for the thing that happened. I've made provision for it. Use it. Whatever it is, people, my brothers and sisters, God says, I've called you to be a priest. Bring it to God. It says, whatever it is, you know, it says in Philippians, whatever you're dealing with, whatever it is, bring it to God. Let God touch every part. That's the thing. There's no sin that can't be finished if you let him touch it. It doesn't matter how big it is, it's finished. But there's no sin. Even if sin is small, it'll hinder you if you don't let God touch it. Bring every part to God. Bring every part of God to you. It says in Zechariah, every part. It says in Zechariah, in that day in the kingdom of God, even the cooking pots, you know, even your, the Betty Crocker things and, the, and the, the Tupperware, all that will have on it the words, Kadosh Ladonai, holy to the Lord. The same words that are on the high priest's crown is going to be on everybody's cooking pots. What's that saying? It's saying in that day, everything's going to be holy. Everywhere, your home is going to be like the holy of holies. Every part, God, in, but we're in the kingdom now. And so God wants every part of your life to be right, holy, pure, and he can do it. It's not saying it is now. It's saying he will do it. You got to let him. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, as we seal this, in my office, for years, I've had a, 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 a lithograph hanging. And it was given to me years before. I was a few years old in the Lord. And I was beginning a ministry to New York City to go out on Saturdays. We gave out food and the gospel to the homeless. I'd cook turkeys and we'd make sandwiches out of it. But the day I was beginning that ministry, one of the people going with me had been to a thrift shop and she found this old lithograph from the 1800s. And she thought of me and she said, I had to, she had, she said, I was going, wanted to give it to you for some time. I kept it in my car, but only because we happened to be together that she only that day, she didn't plan it, that day she ended up giving it to me, which is the day of beginning ministry. And the lithograph was of Aaron. Those of you who know that's my lineage and so my way down, my father way back, on the bottom was written Hebrew scripture. And it was Aaron, you know, with his breastplate, and it was with offering up incense. Interesting. I didn't, we didn't plan this either. The, the worship of the, was, had what? Let, let it be incense rising to you. Wow. Priests. And that was not planned. And translating the Hebrew, it read, And you shall make holy garments for Aaron, your brother, talking to Moses, and for his sons, that they may minister to me. So I was the son of, Mar of, of Aaron here, and the word for that they may minister or may be priest, the word, the word in Hebrew was C-H-N. That's where I, my last name comes from, the word that means to minister. And this was given to Moses to give to them at the beginning of the ministry. And this is the beginning of our ministry, our first day going out to minister to the homeless. And that day I was wearing a light jacket for the first time. I picked, it was like a new, well, it wasn't new, I got it at a thrift shop too. And on it, it said, Levi's which is the tribe of the priests. So I'm wearing the garment. Years later, when I was asked to lead Beth Israel, the weekend I went into full-time ministry, the scripture that was appointed that weekend in all the synagogues of the world was this one, Exodus 28, you shall make holy garments for Aaron and his sons that they may minister to me. 
And the Lord through all this to me was saying, listen, you were born of this heritage, but you could never fulfill it without having come to Messiah. And what you're doing now, that day that we went to the homeless, what you do on the streets of New York City with the homeless is just as holy as what your ancestor Aaron did in the Holy of Holies. And to minister for me, you don't need to be perfect, but you need to be covered. And you need to be holy. Not just on the outside, but the inside. Every part of your life has to be brought into it. It may not be now, but I'll do it, says the Lord. Let me do it. God knows. He knows your frame, knows your past, knows your secret things. He still calls you his child and his minister. None of these things will disqualify you from serving him as long as you don't let them. God has given you a provision to cover everything. Cover it up with the love, the will, the spirit, the holiness of God. Let it touch every part of your life. Let it cleanse you, mind, heart, soul, and strength, inside and out, that you have nothing to be ashamed of. God, because God has called you totally. He's given you the power to overcome everything. Serve him totally, inside out. Love him totally, inside out. Worship him totally, inside out. Rejoice, do everything totally for God. Because God called you to be his holy minister and so live 100%. You know what holiness is? Purity. You know what purity is? 100%. Whatever you do, do it 100%. You live 100%, turn away from sin 100%, serve God 100%, glorify him 100%. For the Lord says, I've called you to be holy. You will be holy. You are my servant and you will enter my presence and you will enter my sanctuary and your life will be filled with my glory, says the Lord, so that every part of your life will become holy from the top of your head to the soles of your feet, and even your underwear shall be holy, says the Lord. Amen and amen. amen. Praise you, Lord. Father, help us, Lord, to take this to our lives right now, Lord. Lord, we thank you that you have called us. We thank you, Lord, for the high calling. Lord, help us to apply this even today, even tonight. Father, help us to take an action, Lord, to holiness, to, Father, to blessing, to becoming the person we're meant to be. Whatever's in our life that shouldn't be, Lord, help us, Father, to get it out. And whatever should be, Lord, help us to get it in. Lord, when we go, when we fellowship, when we go home, Lord, let us not forget it. When we enter our houses, let them be like, let it be like we're entering the temple. And help us, Lord, to be in your presence. Take time in the secret place tonight, for we are your priests. Lord, we thank you, Lord, and help us to be consistent. So, Lord, we lift up, Lord, whatever's convicted us, we lift up that part of our life, Father, whatever that is, that, has, that may not be in, consistent with, with the rest of our life, that it may not be holy, Lord. And you know it already. We lift it up, and Lord, we're going to make real change. We say real things. And we're also going to make hedges, Father, to protect and to cover ourselves. Lord, we want to live all out. We want to know the full thing. We want, to, we, want the, we want the fullness of what you've called us to be. Lord, have your way. We bless you and praise you and thank you and love you. Lord, let it be so. Lord, we want to praise you in every way. And thank you for the calling and the power to fulfill it. Hi, I'm Jonathan Kahn, and I hope you were blessed with the video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the bell icon so you're notified every time a new video is posted. Feel free to share your reactions with your comments and how you were blessed, and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.